Many times you're able to draw multiple Lewis structures for the same chemical. When you're putting the electrons, you can end up putting them in different places, all satisfying the octet rule, but not every structure is as close to reality as every other one you can draw. So for example, if you had a chemical with two nitrogens and one oxygen where the nitrogen was a central atom. So here's an example where it's not as symmetrical as it could possibly be. If you try this from the beginning, you'll end up with three possible Lewis structures. We could satisfy the nitrogen in the center by making two double bonds, or a triple bond between the nitrogen and nitrogen, or a triple bond between nitrogen and oxygen. All of these have the correct number of electrons, all of them have the atoms in the same position, so these are all resonance forms. And you show that they're resonance forms by connecting them with arrows that look like this. Now, some of the resonance forms might match the reality better than others. The real chemical is a mixture of these three different forms that we can draw. They're hybrids. Just like if you hybridize two animals, the resulting animal doesn't look exactly like the mother, doesn't look exactly like the father, and it doesn't flip back and forth between what the parents look like. This doesn't mean the chemical has double bonds sometimes and then triple bonds other times. What it means is the reality is a mixture of all of these forms. In order to determine which one is closest to reality, which one is the best Lewis structure, we use formal charges, which is given by this formula. Number of valence electrons from the periodic table for that atom minus the number of non-bonding electrons, and then you can either subtract half the bonding electrons or you can just count the bonds Remember, each, each bond is always made up of two electrons, so these formulas are equivalent. When you're calculating formal charges, you can check that you did it correctly because the sum of all the formal charges of all of the atoms has to equal the overall charge of the chemical. And when you do this, what you're looking for is the smallest absolute value of formal charges. That's going to be a better Lewis structure. And if you have two Lewis structures or more that have the same magnitude, then you look where the negative charge is. And it's more stable to have a negative charge on a more electronegative element. So if we go back to these Lewis structures, we're going to assign formal charges to each atom in each structure. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, and this leftmost nitrogen has four non-bonding electrons, and it has a total of two bonds to it. So five minus four minus two gives you a value of negative one. So this nitrogen on the left has a negative one formal charge. If we do the same thing for the nitrogen in the center, we would calculate five valence electrons minus zero non-bonding electrons, and this nitrogen has four bonds connected to it, so that's a positive one formal charge. The oxygen has six valence electrons. This one has four non-bonding electrons, and there are two bonds. So that formal charge is neutral. And notice, negative 1 and positive 1 add up to neutral, which is the charge of this chemical. And now I just added in the other two Lewis structures formal charge. Notice each one sums to neutral, positive 1 and negative 1, so this is the correct math. And then the bottom Lewis structure, negative 2 and 2 positive 1s, also adds up to neutral. So next we want to calculate the magnitude of each of these structures. Negative 1 and positive 1, just ignore the negative sign, 
This is a charge of one, another charge of one, that's a magnitude of two. Same thing for the middle one, that's a magnitude of two. And then the bottom one, negative two, positive one, and positive one. So just take the absolute value, two plus one plus one gives you a magnitude of four. So this bottom Lewis structure is the worst Lewis structure we could draw. The other two have the same magnitude, so now we look at where the negative charge is. The middle structure has the negative on oxygen, and oxygen is to the right of nitrogen on the periodic table, and the trend is the electronegativity increases in that direction. So just with the periodic table, you can tell that this Lewis structure in the middle is the best representation we can draw.